got a product that you want to put on food boards, you need to think about how can you best photograph that to look at it in its best way so that when you particularly if it's online because people can't touch it and people like to sort of touch things so they can't touch it you need to think about how you're photographing it how is it going to look on there to put it in its best possible light for people to sell it the other thing from a business point of view you have to think about is how much am I going to charge okay and that's quite important as well so you're thinking about price there. how much is someone going to be prepared to pay yeah. for someone something like this so like can you sell something say like just a tiny bit of material yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's a very special yeah. piece of material, I don't know. That's up to you to think about how you're going to promote it, how you're going to market it. When you're thinking about things like that, you're thinking very entrepreneurially about how it looks, what people are thinking about it, what they might pay for it, and so on. I've just come across Centre Stage, which is an amazing performing arts school um, for kids. What do you do? We teach in, in Southgate um, slash Palmer's Green and we have a Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon and a Sunday class and we teach an hour of drama, an hour of acting and an hour of singing and we teach kids from as young as four all the way up to 18, 19 and we teach them all sorts of skills in the performing arts. Wow, and, um, what's your favourite part about doing the job? I think my favourite part is when you get a kid coming to centre stage who's there for the first time and they're very, very shy and uh, they have problems leaving their mummy and their daddy and they're crying and they come in and then they realise that centre stage is not a scary place and there are lots of kids like them around and they get involved with the games and they realise that it's so much fun and then you see them a few months later and they are just part of the gang, they're part of the family and they're having a wonderful time, they've grown in confidence, um, they've made lots of new friends and um, over the course of the year they get to be in all sorts of exciting shows. Well, there are loads of different options, and um, it's quite important that people know, because when I went to school and I said that I wanted to be an actor, the careers advice I was given was rubbish. They didn't know what to do. So what I did was I was really lucky growing up in Yeovil in Somerset to have a really good, thriving uh, local youth theatre scene. So I got involved with them, and I started doing, um, doing shows with them. The next thing I would recommend to do is to just go out and just enjoy life. Work out what you love to do. Um, if you are a really, really technically brilliant actor, but not a very fully rounded person who's seen and experienced a lot of life, then you, you won't have a love for it in the same way as, as a person who's gone out and, and done lots and seen lots and read lots and, um, and found out what they really want to do. You'll be trying to catch up with somebody else um, like uh, in an industry sort of way, when actually it's about finding your own creativity and your own talent and, and who you really are. That's where my acting comes from. So I'd recommend people to just go out and do that. The third thing is um, when you're looking to um, apply to professional drama schools, which I would highly recommend, there are about 25-ish um, around the UK, and I'd recommend going onto the Conference of Drama Schools website. I think it's www.dramauk.com, I think. Um, but there we'll have listed all of the drama schools in the UK and what I did is I didn't know how good I was so I auditioned for a couple that I thought were top level schools, a couple that I thought were mid-range and a couple that I didn't think were, were that good but were okay and I was lucky enough to get into a school that I considered really good um, but that's what I, that's, that's, that was my approach and it um, worked for me. I've been a Boobod reporter, why don't you give it a go too? Just send in a clip of your reporting and Boobos might pick you to be on the next secret location. Just send it in to boobos at boobos.com.